Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Traveling Time. We are going to Case Number 50, we are actually going to Florence because the time machine is now fixed, and now we gotta wait at least two weeks for the time machine to work so we can go back to 2029, and I can't wait for that. We're gonna go home, finally. Florence, Italy, 16th century. Katrina, I can't describe how relieved I am that we found Penelope and convinced her to break up with that musketeer. I understand she's beside herself with grief, but refused to let her stay here in Ransas is definitely for the best. And I will also save Leonardo da Vinci for the Inquisition and help him finish painting the mural for King Francis. And also saw the murder of a vizier in the Ottoman Empire. We can finish recalibrating our time machine's computer and go back to good old 2029. Our last stop before returning to the present is Da Vinci's workshop here in Florence. Katria, you and Jack accompany Leonardo to his workshop first to make sure the coast is clear and we'll follow after. Okay, let's go. Ah, home sweet home. Hmm, it appears I received a wedding invitation from King Henry VIII. Ah, oh. is it with Ain? The bride is one Lady Fior Giovanna Piera Grazia de Medici. Wait, aren't you supposed to get married with uh, Ain Boleyn? Katria, I know Henry had multiple wives, but I thought all oh, they were named Catherine or Ain. I've never heard of this, Fior. Guards! Guards! Lady Fiora is dead! Oh. Wait, Lady Fiora is in King Henry's right to be? Yes, she was discovered dead in her changing room. Please come quick. We'll be right there. Mac, they are ready to investigate the murder of Henry's previous wife. And now we hear he's not only marrying someone we've never heard of, but she's dead too. I'm sorry, you know, but given the sensitivity of the time stream, Katrina and I are ob obli obli obligated to look into this. I understand. I'll be here. Well, Katrina, let's head to the bride's changing room. Yeah, clearly another glitch, probably because... Because Queen Catherine died early. Well, there's also one thing we have to do is, and that's uh, find out who is the saboteur. Who might have sabotaged us and strand us in time? And on whose orders did he do that? That's one thing we don't know. Can you click on you yet? Damn it! Where's the mask? Just give me another 45 seconds. Oh, there's the royal map. I lost a lot of box. Oh, there. Damn it. Look. 34,000 and, and I was on 60,000. Sorry, I'm not doing well on this game now. Katria, this one must be the bride, Lady Fior. Damn, dying on your wedding day. Hmm, looks like she was shot through the heart. That window pane is broken. The shot must have come in through there. They hit Lady Fior in the heart. There's an exit wound in her back. The shot went right through her. 
Then Mr. Q used some kind of bullet rather than an arrow. Ah, good eye, Katria. A pouch of sweet supplies has a hole in it that's about the same size as a hole in the victim's torso. Then that means she was holding her, her bag. Or and maybe she tried to defend herself with the bag. I wonder if the bullet pierced the pouch after passing through the victim's chest. Let's look inside. Yeah, this is a pretty fancy box. It could belong to the victim. We have to get it open to see. Well, this badge might not have happened in history, but we are not going to let anyone get away with murder. Well, well, she's dead and that, ma but that marriage will not happen and how are we going to convince uh, Henry that he marries a blade? Let's see what happened to Lady Fior. Katria, I never heard of this Lady Fior, Giovanna Parmigiano, whatever before. Surely she wasn't one of Henry VIII's wives. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that and I, I know because the next one is supposed to be Anne Boleyn. No, that's just it. This really didn't happen in history. And someone else clearly disagreed with this union. Indeed, she was shot with incredible force. The projectile passed between her ribs smacked out through the center of her heart and out her back. It's impressive considering the shot came from outside, through the window even. Yes, given they got her square in the heart, the Okiru is clearly quite a sharpshooter. Well, Katria, it's only a matter of time before we'll set our sights on this killer. And I don't know about you, but uh, this. That woman, Lady Fjord, looks a bit modern. But if I look at this picture, I like she's like she's from our present, that she's not from the past. I think something tells me that we are going to meet that uh, person who sabotaged our time machine in the first place. Well, we'll have to sooner or later. Oh, those are the rings. Good thing, that box is holding key Henry and Lady Fjord's wedding rings. And there's a description here with the lid. It says, My royal blessing of this union, Alberto de, de, Mich de Medici. I gotta say, the Renaissance history is a little blurry for me. I'll have to check Alberto de Medici on the tablet. Well, Medici does sound familiar to me. Uh, Alberto de' Medici rules the Republic of Florence, and Lady Fior is apparently his cousin. So he gave the couple their rings as part of his blessing and hosting to their union here in Florence. Well, it looks like we should talk to Lord Alberto about the murder. Uh, I'm just wondering if, if he did exist in history or not. Let's look at the bag now. What? Oh yeah, it's the bullet, but... A very fancy bullet, I must say. Katia, you are right. The bullet that killed Lady Fjord was in the bag of sewing supplies. That is one crazy looking bullet. Let's have Theo take a look at it. Yeah, but the bullet looks really fancy and... From what kind of rifle was it fired from? Okay, let's uh, chat with Alberto. Your Grace, we are the gods of SK Lady of yours murder. We understand she was your cousin. Oh yes, what a tragedy. And what's worse, her murder will cause an international crisis. Just yesterday, yesterday my family was proud of me for securing this wedding. 
I had done so well. I found the best rings I could on such short notice. Ah, uh, does that mean this wedding was a sudden development? Yes, a much desired strategic cup fell suddenly into my lap. This marriage would seal an alliance between the Kingdom of England and the Republic of Florence. It could never have happened were it not for the recent sudden death of King Henry's previous wife. That misfortune gave me such a boon. And now... Speaking of King Henry, is he nearby? We would like to speak with him as well. I believe you'll find him at the wedding venue. And Godspeed, loyal guards. The wedding happened all of a sudden. So the murder of, uh, of, the, of the Queen Catherine caused this glitch in history. Guards, why does your presence not surprise us? Last time your path crossed with ours, one's wife was murdered. And our murder has afflicted one's bride. What is your explanation? Uh, that we didn't do it? We were just here at, uh, at the right time to investigate the murder? We were hoping you might explain, your highness. We understand this when it was planned only recently. Who is us more about your bride, Lady Fior? One was still unfamiliar with the lady, but our marriage would produce an alliance between England and Florence, and a male heir to one's throne, a matter of utmost importance to us. Does one, uh, do you suspect anyone regarding her murder, your highness? One is surrounded by jealous enemies, frothing at the mouth like rabbit dogs to bite off a greedy hunk of one's kingdom. The possibilities are countless. You, gods, must find the lady's murderer forthwith. Their head must roll. Leave everything to us, your highness. Katria, we should investigate this area to see who else was here. Oh, the ceremony room. No magnifying glass, and if I fail this crisis, I'm just gonna go repeat it again. I'm not gonna spend lots of coins just to continue playing. Oh, that's a mask, I thought. Lantern, lantern. No, I'm gonna repeat it. I'm not spending another 5,000 coins on... Uh... And that's how it's done. Because yeah, it looks like this broken sculpture is made of sugar. I flipped through a book on Lana has a Renaissance sugar sculptures. Sugar was a luxury item, so sculptures made of sugar were a popular way for nobles to show their opulence. But in my experience, stuff usually gets broken when everyone's drunk after a wedding, not before. You're right, if we piece it back together, maybe we'll learn who broke it. And this couple looks like it was important to the wedding ceremony. Let's look over the faded writing on it. Alright, let's restore the sculpture. Oh, 
Oh wait, is that the... Uh, is that the thing you put on top of the cake? It's them too. Cut it, this is the sugar sculpture of the bride and groom. These are often presented as gifts to the couple. I wonder if this coat of arms will tell us who this one is from. Good idea, let's see if we can find this coat of arms in any of our research material to see whose it is. Okay. Now the goblet. Cisneros. Ktria, this couple belongs to Cardinal Cisneros. Ah, oh, I was wondering who is that, and it's a, uh, and it's a Spanish Inquisition guy. We first saw the Cardinal in Spain while he was the Grand Inquisitor. Do you suppose he's here to officiate the wedding? Good thing that's not happening. I could just see him interrogating all the guests about their loyalty to the church. As speaking of interrogations, let's ask you some questions. This time I'm the one asking questions and not you. And you are gonna confess if you are the killer. Now the sculpture, let's... Let's uh, identify this coat of arms. Oh, I was expecting you to come. The coat of arms of the sugar sculpture is A. Boleyn's. We saw this Boleyn in England and then again in France. It's interesting that the sculpture is from Miss Boleyn since according to history she eventually married Henry. Could this gift have been a strategic move to getting his good graces? Given her close connection to King Henry, it makes sense that Aid would be here for his wedding. Let's have a board with her. How are you not getting married? Let's have a chat with our favorite Inquisitor. Well, actually, the worst Inquisitor. Great is your holiness. We are here investigating Lady Fjord's murder. We understand you are here as a wedding officiant. Yes, I believe a real wedding would be a nice respite for the con constant grind of questioning heretics. But it appears that nothing is sacred. You must find the evildoer and support the small of their back upon a pike until they confess to the crime. What if it's you, man? Uh, leave the serial of justice to us. Do you know who might have harbored hatred toward Lady Fior? I can't imagine, no. But wherever they are, they are working against the will of the Lord. As I said, I hate him. Let's have a chat with Aid. How are you not getting married? Guards, it's so terrible what's happened. I've lost my best friend. Wait, you Lady Fior? If I just you, you gave to the couple and assumed you were here as a guest of King Henry's. The gift was for both of them. Fiora and I were childhood friends. Her death is a great loss to me. My father remembered traveling to various palaces with Fior, occupying ourselves while the parents discussed politics with dukes and du duchesses, kings and queens. Ah, oh, the pranks we play it. Once we spread bird seed on the floor and opened all the windows. The birds came and made such a mess, shattering vases and relieving themselves on the tapestries. Our parents screamed and screamed while Fiora and I just laughed and laughed. Sounds fun. Do you know of anyone who deplored Lady Fior, uh, presently? No, Lady Fior was beloved by all. Especially me, her best friend. 
Did you have a best friend? That's the thing. Well, let's check out this bullet and it's a very fancy bullet and from what was it fired from? I wanna know that. Ktria, the bullet you brought me is fascinating. Yeah, isn't it strange looking? A shot through a window, the victim's torso and finally a sui key, which is where Katria found it. I believe it. The teeth on the knob make it like a drill bit and I'm guessing it spins while it travels. Oh god. So no wonder it went through her. Which means it could easily chew through many materials if shot with enough force. I just wonder what sort of gun was used to fire it. Did you learn anything else from the bullet? Yes, he had stains of fig liquor on it. Probably your kill needed a little fortification before committing the murder, and they had some on their hands when they loaded their weapon. It's going to take more than drinking fig liquor to help to help our kill cope with the punishment they'll get for this Katarina. Fig liquor? Never heard of it. Maybe. <laughs> Well, Katrina, we are nearly finished fixing the time machine with Da Vinci's help. But another murder has pulled us away. King Henry's mysterious new bride was shot in the heart before their wedding could take place. Historically, the wedding never took place anyway. But now all the royals of Europe demand that we find her killer. We know King Henry had a horrible track record with a key to keep his wives alive. Though historically he at least saw the weddings true before he had them beheaded. And it turns out Anne Boleyn was childhood friends with the victim. She's understandably distraught about the murder. And with his cousin, Alberto de Medici is frightened of the repercussions the murder will have on the projected alliance between England and Florence. And Carlos is there as that's what it turns for the blood of the culprit. I wish we had more concrete leads to... Claire, you must come to my workshop right away! Yes, Leonardo, but we have to solve Lady Fjord's murder first. Precisely! I just discovered that the killer shot her from within my workshop! But you can't be the killer, you were with us. The whole time. Alright, we gotta stop here, we gotta continue playing in chapter 2. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!